The Russian ice dance couple Ekaterina Babrova and Dmitry Solovyov have certainly achieved success in recent competitions, most notably taking gold at last month's European Championships in Croatia. But this continental triumph is still some away from the global dominance enjoyed by Soviet and Russian skaters over the past 50 years. And with the rise of Canadian pair Tessa Virtue and Scott Moore, as well as US stars Merrill Davis and Charlie White, the duo felt the need to reinvent themselves to challenge the North American stranglehold and recruited the help of former world ice dance champion Alexander Zhulin, who coached Tatiana Navka and Roman Kostomarov to Russia's last Olympic gold in Turin in 2006. It wasn't easy changing coaches as we'd been with our previous one for 12 years. But when everyone kept saying we were becoming too repetitive and using old school techniques, we knew we had to do something about it. This is why we turned to Alexander Julian, who's proven time and again that his approach and techniques are exciting, new and different. Now, while change is good, Ekaterina and Dimitri really do have their work cut out for them, as trainer Alexander Julian's work ethic sounds extremely demanding, especially seeing as he would like to see them in the top three of the world very soon. And that, of course, is easier said than done. Virtue and Moore are currently world and Olympic champions, with former world champions Davis and White running them a close second over the past three years, which is a dominance that coach Julian admits is a daunting task to break. Judging by their form last season and at the beginning of this one, it was simply impossible to compete with them. But I can see the improvements being made by the Russians, Dmitry and Yekaterina, as well as others. And the competition is getting tighter. Of course, those two couples took off over the past few years. But I'm loving the challenge, and I hope it continues. But while Julian admits that there's still a way to go for this duo, a boy in Solovyov believes that they can already mount a challenge for the world's top honors. It's completely possible. It's not some kind of fantasy. There's no such thing as impossible. You just have to find the key to the door that opens up these possibilities. And while a lot of time and effort goes into preparation, and particularly under the watchful gaze of coach Julian, the two insist they still find the time to relax and have fun. If we only practiced, I think we'd go mad. Our schedule does allow us free time to spend with friends, going to the cinema, even doing other sports like volleyball or skiing, and of course with family. Also the theater, various kinds of shows, friends, cars, books, etc. Anything really. We'll do any kind of pastime if it helps us focus on our goals. It's this kind of spirit that's kept 23-year-old Solovyov and 22-year-old Babrova skating together for the last 12 years. And with the help of coach Julian, there's every chance they could cause an upset at this year's World Championships in Virtue and Moore's native Canada, starting from March 11th. Michael Kovchenko, RT, Moscow.